Hey guys, JB here at NodeNetworks.org where we build global community driven staking pools. And of course, we have our Node Networks ADA pool with a current promo of 0% fees until testnet stabilizes. So be sure to check out our ticker symbol 0NN to stake your testnet ADA. Now in this video, we'll be looking at four major Cardano news and updates. So without further ado, let's dive into it. All right, so looking at ADA updates and starting off with Ouroboros Hydra and on March 9th, 2020, Charles Hoskinson, CEO and founder of IOHK announced a Hydra update. If you want to watch his full video, I'll link it down in the description. Now Hydra is the key scalability feature for Cardano's proof of stake protocol in Ouroboros. Hydra itself will rely on state channels as a second layer scaling solution to substantially improve performance. As Charles mentions here, state channels shard Cardano's without sharding the ledger itself. The state channels will handle transactions off-chain, offloading transactions from Cardano's main blockchain, allowing for significantly higher throughput. So you might be thinking to yourself, how does it accomplish scalability? Now, each stake pool operator can operate their own state channel or Hydra head. Based on their simulations, it is currently felt that each head can handle about a thousand transactions per second. Based on a thousand stake pools, each handling about a thousand transactions per second, Cardano theoretically could achieve a throughput as high as 1 million transactions per second, which is extremely impressive. Just for comparison, high processing applications like Visa, a centralized solution is capable of handling more than 65,000 transactions per second. Now at Cardano's a million transactions per second. That's very impressive. Now Hydra will allow for Cardano to scale on a global level to exceed high performance application requirement, which is needed for Cardano to be a dominant global decentralized blockchain. Now this is still in theory, but I'm personally really jacked up about this and Cardano's scaling developments and I can't wait for it to be deployed on mainnet. Now moving on to our second ADA update and it's Daedalus and Euroi testnet wallet staking. So delegators have had some issues getting into their Daedalus wallet on testnet. Now our recommendation is to continue installing the latest ITN updates for Daedalus wallet, which the latest update is 2.3.0 ITN1. Hopefully the latest release will resolve most of the issues. Alternatively, and perhaps the better option from the user's perspective is staking through the Euroi testnet wallet. And with the latest update, you can stake through the Euroi mobile wallet. Mergle has made some fantastic strides with their UX of their wallet and have added some excellent graphs to track your testnet rewards. A big shout out to the Mergo team. This is awesome and well done on this end. Now, they've also made a great video tutorial on how to stake through their mobile wallet, which is linked below. So be sure to check out that. Now moving on to our third ADA update, and that is Shelly Testnet. Now we at Node Networks currently are running a pool with the ticker symbol 0NN and have a promo going on for a 0% pool reward fee until testnet stabilizes. Now you might be wondering, how is the Shelly testnet running? And it's like any other testnet, it's gonna have its bumps, its hiccups, its bruises, etc. while they progress on the roadmap to mainnet. But this is the perfect environment to test the code, put stress on the network, and discover and fix any downfalls in order to be running perfectly for mainnet launch. Now we at Node Networks are helping the community by continually upgrading and testing the latest code. This is important for the betterment of the Cardano blockchain to harden and move forward. Now, unfortunately, there have been some bad actors which are strictly running old Stripe versions of code that have been modified by third parties strictly for testnet optimization and not for the betterment of our ecosystem. That said, 
A new release with substantial improvement is expected during the next short while, and as a good citizen of the Cardano ecosystem, we will implement the new code shortly thereafter. Now, our Node Networks team is based in North America and Hong Kong, allowing us to effectively monitor our node 24 seven to maximize minting our blocks. And of course, minting blocks will vary from day to day as the amount of opportunities or slots we receive is random and fluctuates substantially. Now, despite experience jumping us with the current code, we've minted nearly 100% of our blocks over the past several days, which is super exciting. So looking at Mr. Charles Hoskinson, who did indicate in his last update that he's expecting the last version for the Jormungandr Ross based code to be sometime near the end of March, early April, and then we will be transitioning to the Haskell based code version upon successful completion of testing the Haskell version, along with other further stress testing of the network, we will finally be able to migrate to mainnet, which we are all excited for. So by the time mainnet rolls out, it is expected that all the kinks will be worked out and mainnet code will be running smoothly and node operators like ourselves with continuous uptime will be able to effectively mint 100% of their allotted slots. Now, in the meantime, it has been pretty happy staking. Despite the hiccups, the Shelly testnet has produced rewards that have been higher than I personally and most people have originally projected. So yeah, it's been a blast and we will continue to roll with the punches all the way through mainnet. So yeah. And finally, moving on to our final update, which is the Shelly mainnet launch date. And the latest update coming from Charles was that before Cardano announces a specific date, they want two milestones to be achieved. First, they want the Byron reboot to be finalized, which should be done around mid to later March. And secondly, the launch and stabilization of the new Shelly Haskell testnet. Now, once those milestones have been successfully achieved, Cardano will be able to announce a timeline for a formal mainnet launch. At the current rate, I suspect this will occur either in June or July. Pure speculation on my half. Now, looking at a funnier note, announcement on dates will come from the product team and not Charles himself, because in his words, I have a really bad track record on releasing dates. So really good stuff here and can't wait for those announcements to come out. Anyways, that's it for me. I'm JB at Node Networks, and hopefully we kept this video nice and short for you guys. Now, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as we will continue to publish more Cardano updates as well as news and medium articles on relevant activities and initiatives. Now, please leave feedback in regards to any other ADA topics that you'd like us to cover. Now, if you're interested in staking your testnet ADA token, please check out our Node Networks ADA pool at our website, nodenetworks.org, or join our tremendous international community on Telegram, which is at Node Networks ADA pool. And if you're interested in our other DeFi projects, please check out our news feed at fsmfeed.com for all the latest Fusion DeFi news. Anyways, stay bullish, and of course, happy staking from the Node Network team. Peace out, later.